Hey y'all, it's your friend Dee, and in today's video, I'm sharing some items that I purchased from Timu. Now, I did purchase these items over a month ago. It was during their Memorial Day sale in May, and I kind of forgot about them until I saw other YouTubers sharing their hauls, and I remembered. So, I guess that saying, out of sight, out of mind, really is true. So guys, please keep in mind that the prices that I paid at the time of purchase may have fluctuated because it has been over a month, but let's get into the video. So the first item is this wall lamp and I paid $1.97 for two. And I knew they were not one six scale, but it was a good deal. So I'm gonna get this out of the packaging. So here it is out of the packaging. And originally I wanted these for the church but I knew once I saw the measurements online that they wouldn't work. But I ordered them anyway because, like I said, it was a good deal. And I think I can find somewhere to use these. I may actually even make these into the street lights for the village. But the size of these are, and this is the bigger size. So as you can see, it's about from tip to tip, one and a half inch. And guys, these do work. It has wiring included. And in the photo on Timu, it does not look like it's wired. So I was surprised to see this. And you get about 14 inches of wiring attached already. So I'm going to get a battery and show you guys that these do work. So you can see that the light is on. And I'm holding the wires to a battery. And I'm just using my little finger protectors that are made for hot glue. You know, just to be safe. I didn't want any sparks to fly. <laughs> But it does come on, and if I let go, you can see the light goes off. Now it's back on. So yeah, I was really happy to see that these work. So here it is next to Tanja. And it is smaller than what I wanted for the church. But it may be okay to use as a porch light on one of the houses. And like I said, I may try to use them as street lamps. The next item is this dress form. And on the website, it is labeled as 11.81 inches doll form. And I paid $1.52 for this. So it comes in three pieces. You got to put this there. You don't get any instructions. And then this part goes here. Here's a closer look at the form. It's a very pretty design. Here's the back and the base. Not sure what the holes on the side here are for, but I can always turn that towards the back. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice form. I just wish it was a little bit taller. So here it is next to Tanja. And as you can see, this is not 11.81 inches. This is more like eight and a half inches. So originally I wanted to use it for my longer dresses like this one, but that's not going to work. But the shorter dresses look just fine on it, so I'm not mad at it. I got some more of these fashion packs for my Kindle, and the last time I purchased from this buyer, they're called Lucky Town. I really like the quality, so I got two more. Here's our first outfit. I'm going to put it on Roger. Here's the outfit on Roger, and everything fits really good. It was easy to get on. The only thing is the collar is a little bit too large for me. I wish it was a, a little smaller. I may actually take the collar off. But other than that, I like this outfit. So here's a close-up of the shirt. The stitching is really nice. There is one loose stitch here, but that's no problem. I'll trim that off. And they continue the stripe detail on the sleeves. So that was a nice touch. And it does Velcro in the back. And I really like how large they made the opening because it made it easier to get on him. And if you have the new buff Ken, I think these shirts are large enough to fit him without any issue. Because Roger still has some room in here and on his arms. So yeah, I think a buff Ken would fit pretty nicely in these shirts and the denim pants are very nice they're just basic as you can see there aren't any pockets velcro in the back 
All of the stitching is really nice. And it's hard to find Barbie fashion packs for Ken that come with pants. So I'm trying to get my collection of uh, Ken clothes up. And these are going to be a nice addition. Here's the second outfit. So let's put it on Roger. Here's our second outfit. And there's parts of it that I like and that I don't like. I do like the color of it, but there's something going on with the shirt. So first thing about the shirt is this crease right here. I don't know why they did the collar like this, but uh, the stitching is not good right there where the V comes in at the collar and it caused the shirt to kind of have a crease there. So I'm going to have to fix that. But other than that, the stitching is really good. And it Velcros in the back. This one is a little bit more fitted than the first one. So he doesn't have as much room. The first one was a, a lot bigger throughout the torso. I do like the pants. I think white pants are just a very classic look. And these Velcro in the back. They're a little bit looser than the denim ones. Not by much, but they just seem looser in the hips. And they're a good length. So yeah, I just have to fix this on this outfit. And to update you guys on Roger, once again, I thought his beard had come back from the body switch, but as you can see, this side has started to fade and I think it's a lost cause. So I'll probably just remove the rest of his beard and be done with it. And I really hate that because I loved his beard. Next, we have a bike. So this is advertised as mini pink bike on the website and it comes in two parts. You have the main bike and then you have the handlebars. So this goes here. So here's the bike put together. The only piece I had to add on was the handlebars and I did kind of have to force that on. It was a little hard getting that on, but it is a cute bike. It's two-tone pink. You have the lighter pink and a more of a hot pink, I guess, and gray. And the front wheels with the handlebars do turn. And they turn there. And the back, the foot pedals do rotate with the chain. It's not a very smooth action, but they do turn and they turn the back wheels. So if I move the wheel... As you can see, it's not very smooth, but it does work. All in all, a very cute bike. Oh, and on the other side, there is a kickstand so the bike can stand up. As you can see, this bike is quite small and this is a petite Barbie. I don't have a Skipper doll to show you a uh, size comparison, but I do have this Chelsea doll. So it looks like it's a little bit too big for a Chelsea. Um, so, but it's still a nice little bike to have in the background. So next I have another bike and this one comes in several pieces. So you get the handlebars, a basket, the bike seat, two pedals, a helmet, the front wheel, and the rest of the bike. So the front wheel goes in here, then the handlebars go here, then you have the seat, the pedals go here, and the basket snaps on here. So it looks like I'm missing a piece. I think it had a kickstand that goes with it, but that piece is missing. Here's the completed bike, and I paid $2.20 and it is listed as pink bike. And I think for that price, it is really good quality. So the wheels, the front wheel and the handlebars move and this moves, let's see if the chain will move. Let's see if in, in the back wheel does not move with the pedals, but the chain does rotate. It's a little smoother than the other bike. 
but that does rotate. And you have this little back storage section there. So I wish I had the kickstand, but it is still a nice bike for $2.20. Oh, I found the kickstand, it had fallen on the floor. So the kickstand goes here. And the bike can stand on its own. So here's the bike in front of different size dolls. As you can see, it's way too big for the Chelsea. I think it's the perfect size for the petite Barbie. And then Tanja is an original size Barbie. And I think it's a good size for her too. Here's Tanja on the bike. And it's really hard to position her on it because there aren't any braces to help stabilize the doll on top of the bike. But as you can see, it is a good size for her. And I forgot to mention that the only doll I could get the helmet on was the Chelsea doll. So we have another bike. And like the other one, this one comes in several pieces. You have the handlebars, four pedals, a basket, the front tire, and the main body. Now this is a tandem bike. I'll put front tire on, the handlebars, and you have four pedals. The kickstand was already in place on this one. And we have the basket. And this bike has no issue standing on its own. So this is a two-seater bike. As you can see, you have the two seats and you have the handlebar for the uh, back rider. And I think this is an extra seat for maybe a Chelsea doll. And there are little faux water bottles, I guess, right there. And the front tire moves and the, hand, and the handlebar and the front tire can swivel. And you have the back tire that rotates and the two pedals. And they move independently. They don't really move together. There's two separate chains on there but a real tandem bike, the pedals would move together. But of course, this is just a doll <laughs> bike, so, but it's still nice. So I guess you've noticed that this looks similar to the other bike, and I think they're from the same seller on the website. Here's Tanja and Roger standing over the bike. I can't get them to sit down without having something to hold them in place, so I have to figure that one out. But I do think it's a good size. Uh, like the other bike, I like that it's not completely pink. And I will definitely paint this one. I think I'll paint this one red. But yeah, I think this is going to be nice for photo shoots. So here are the bikes side by side. And I think they're all going to look really nice in photos. Especially after I add some paint to some of the details to bring them out. And uh, I don't remember if I gave you the price for the tandem bike. When I purchased it, it was $2.37, and that is compared to this one being $2.20, and this one $1.69. So for the price, I think this is an excellent deal. So my friends, that's all I have for you, and if you have questions about anything in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will try to the best of my ability to answer your questions, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye-bye.